it's put a negative image on Tottenham because like Tottenham is a good area. Like there's so many good stuff happening from it. Like oh, it's like Adele, Red Free Two that originate from Tottenham and. I think people are not viewing that, they're just viewing the riot. So like, we want that idea out of their head because it's the past. That's why one of our lyrics like, forget about what you heard, forget about what you've seen. You found a place to be where everybody dreams. That's like, showing them that, forget about the riots, that's the past, that's negativity. Just focus on the positive side of Tottenham, basically. We started off Everybody Dreams by um, from last year, as you know from the riots. We um, a group of students came to our um, to the teachers and said that um, that like they were disappointed about it, disappointed about this, and wanted to do something about it to try and restore Tottenham. So we came by Everybody Dreams, and we thought we'll come up with a song because like songs like can stretch out to like anyone in the world. We had a little post box, and we posted our lyrics and. We put them all together to like make one song. So yeah. A lot of artists like Leona Lewis and big names that are supporting the song so that it can be like worldwide and everyone knows about it. Ed Sheeran, yeah. um, Tiny Temper, yeah. Jesse J. Boris yeah. Johnson. So there's, there's quite. <laughs> <laughs> he's not really a music celebrity, but there are plenty of people um, back in the campaign currently. This is not just a song for Tottenham. It's not just a song for London. It's a song for for the world. A highlight for me was probably seeing these guys busk in Covent Garden. That was that was probably a highlight for me. Performing with Dave Stewart. That was. Performing with Dave Stewart yeah. and at the Hospital Club. That was yeah. this gig. That was really good. Train the Seven Sisters line. We was on the train and we were singing and like, <laughs> oh, it was funny. But yeah, we got the message out on the train as well, which is good. Um, a highlight for me would be when Boris Johnson um, came to school and we had to sing um, the song in front of him, and he came up on the stage and sang it like with us. Another <laughs> highlight for me was I don't know about you guys, but I loved the studio sessions. That was fun. And um, just kind of working with all these, we worked with um, some of the vocal directors on Strictly Come Dancing and um, JLS's vocal coaches, Wendy and Priscilla and Gio and all those different people, and working with all these amazing musicians in the industry. That was probably a highlight for me. Um, my time um, volunteering at Exposure was awesome. I absolutely loved it. It was probably one of the best things from my childhood that I did. Um, and just being in the office, um, it's quite nostalgic, just being here and looking behind me and seeing some of the magazines that I wrote articles in is, is, is such a great feeling. I learned a lot of skills. I learned a lot about things like Photoshop, things about writing press releases. Um, all those skills I learned um, at Exposure um, and it helped with my writing skills, it helped with so much and I, I use it in my everyday life, in my job, but most importantly with Everybody Dreams. I would definitely recommend Exposure to any young person who wants to make a difference. Um, Exposure is an amazing place to be, it's where everybody dreams. <laughs> <laughs>